Welcome back to News Brawl. Surprise, I still have sponsors after what I said. Folks, I made a darling discovery. The lip flakes down at Kellogg are putting chemicals in Eggo waffles to turn hard-working patriotic Americans into homosexuals. Why do you think you kept seeing the gay pride flag all throughout you? Yeah, I know why people keep buying these. Because the globalists won't keep you a wage slave. You can't have a nice hearty breakfast like we used to. These are nice, convenient, and somewhat delicious. What if I told you you can make your own frozen waffles and stick it to Kellogg's liberal lizard agenda? On next week's show, is the Clinton Foundation teaming up with Cartoon Network to turn our kids into madness inflation fetish enthusiasts? Now then, let's begin work on the batter. Crack one egg into a medium sized bowl. And remember what I said about egg cracking. Always do it on a flat surface. Never on the edge of something. You're gonna drive the shell into the egg itself. Whisk this baby up. Well, whisk this would have been baby up. Next, add one cup of milk. Next, add three tablespoons of olive oil. No, wait. Next, add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. All right, let's move on to the dry ingredients. Add a quarter cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of aluminum-free baking powder. I stress this because if you don't use aluminum-free baking powder, it you're definitely gonna taste it in the final result. And finally, one cup of all-purpose flour. Mix it until everything's combined. Yes, there are lumps in here. You're not supposed to overmix waffle batter. Please ignore what I said in my waffle and pancake video. In fact, ignore the whole video. It's not one of my stronger ones. Next, heat up your handy dandy waffle iron. Oh, and since the waffles are gonna be frozen and then toasted later, don't set it to high, set it to medium instead. I have mine set on three. Once the waffle iron heats up, spray it down with non-stick spray and pour in our batter. And once the waffle iron's alarm goes off like this, it's ready. So once the timer goes off, Without being careful not to burn yourself, remove our waffles from the iron. Move them onto a separate plate and let them cool down. So once the waffles cool down, drop them into our freezer and let them freeze overnight. Up, up, up. Here's some frozen waffles I made the night before. Let's toast them. First thing you gotta do, make sure the toaster is set to high. Is there our frozen waffles inside? Let them toast. Oh, and if your toaster has a defrost button, definitely turn it on. And once the toaster is popped, they're ready to eat. Once the waffles are nice and toasty, you can either serve them with syrup or do what I did when I went to college and make the peanut butter waffle sandwich. That's right, I went to college and I'm here making YouTube videos. Let's end the video now before the depression really sets in. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and mean it this time. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to head to the News Brawl shop and pick up a box of male solidarity Vanilla protein chick. Mm. Definitely does not taste like chalk and ground up roadkill carcasses.